and welcome everyone to this week's uh, video tutorial we will be doing the fourth part of Grandmaster Hu Ronghua's Sandwich Horse Defense Treaties and this will be a continuation of the previous board and as in the earlier videos that I've made I've chosen to place uh, black as the at the bottom of the page so without further ado central cannon hell corner cannon Red's rank chariot variation, black sandwich horse defense, and red will develop both horses as proper horses. Protecting the cannon. Yeah. And this would be the position of discussion for this bot. In this bot, uh, instead of using other rank, uh, bilateral <coughs> two rank chariots, uh, red would choose to play the five nine cannons formation. So, at this point in time, uh, there were two major variations that were discussed. The first variation would be R1 equals to 2, which would seem to be a uh, natural thing to play in this situation, whereby Black would try to develop his chariots as early as possible. The other variation would be P3 plus 1, which would be the recommended variation by the Grandmaster. So, in the first variation, Red would continue with R9 equals to 8 and Black would try to form a blockade by advancing his cannon across the river. Uh, red would be aggressive with R4 plus 5 and at this point in time two subvariations were discussed. The first subvariation would be P3 plus 1. The second subvariation would be P7 plus 1. So, how would these two fare? Now, if we were to compare both variations, we will find that P7 plus 1 was not as good as P3 plus 1. If please, P7 plus 1 were advanced, Red would simply try to trade pawns. And it would be an even situation. However, if P3 plus 1 were played, Red would attack the pawn as planned. Black would have to protect the horse. And Red would be retreat his chariot to the riverbank. And Red would change his formation to a cross palace cannon formation. And it will be an even situation for both players. So, in the main variation, R1 equals to 2 would most likely lead to a rather even situation. Now, although Black can, can be satisfied with this outcome, uh, P3 plus 1 would advocate, uh, was advocated and would be able to give Black more options on the board, as we shall see. Now, this would be variation 2. If P3 plus 1 were played, Red would play R9 equals to 8 to develop his chariot. And instead of playing R1 equals to 2, it would be advocated that P7 plus 1 were played for the dou <coughs> double headed snake pawns. So both of Black's uh, pieces, the horses would now be very, would have impulse space to continue. If R1 equals to were played, uh, because red was faster, he would be able to advance his chariot across the river. And black, uh, red pieces would be better developed than blacks, and red would have an advantage in this situation. So that is why P7 plus 1 would be advocated. Now it will be a test for red. So I equals to 6 would be. Uh, advised uh, but one might ask would it be an uh, would it be possible for red to attack from the central file as he had, as he had planned all along so black would use the pawn uh, the cannon to patrol the riverbank c6 
plus 4 at this point would be overly aggressive and could lead to losses because black would always still have the option of uh, countering with a central canal of his own and black would now be prepared to play p7 plus 1 to threaten the chariot and also the cannon at the same time and black would seize control of the game because if the pawn were allowed to cross the river, which uh, must be done, otherwise it would lose pieces, black's attack along this file would be considerable. On this flank, sorry, it would be considerable. Hence, it would not be a good idea to play P uh, to capture black central pawn at this point in time. Instead, black should, uh, red should retreat his chariot to protect his pawn rank and black could still be able to counter red's aggressions because with the cannon at this point uh, on the riverbank at this point in time red would have qualms trying to push his central pawn forward so p5 plus 1 would be overly aggressive instead r8 plus 6 would be advocated okay. And black would be able to handle red's attack. Uh, one of the major components or factors that you will have to take in mind, uh, consider is uh, when red is attacking with the central by advancing the central pawn, both the red horses will be needed uh, to to be developed along the central file. And if the red horses were able to be developed, uh, red would have a considerable attack going on. Hence, uh, one of the ways to counter this would be to try to use a horse to trade for both horses, trade material, such that the red horses will not be able to advance. And in this situation, as we can see, uh, black would have a nice position. The black carrot would be very powerful. Uh, red's attack along the central file will be foiled, and black could always be prepared to play e3 plus 5 to attack the red chariot and also develop his other black chariot as planned and black could have an open pawn that is ready to cross the river so black will be able to handle red's attack whereas red would have trouble trying to continue so at this point in time uh, it will be to black's advantage so this is a very short video as mentioned just now, this would be the position of discussion. In the main variation, R1 equals to 2, however natural it might seem, would lead to an even situation, which although black can be satisfied with, uh, would not be as good as P3 plus 1, where black would keep his options open and there would be many more uh, tactics to employ or strategies that Black could use in the game, <coughs> in the ensuing game. So this is a very short video, and I hope you have enjoyed uh, it. And I will try to make more videos in the near future. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.